words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hey, welcome to the Essence of Man and Power of Speech. We're on day 137. We're going to talk about despair and its effects. Uh, you know, what causes despair? Let's, let's First of all, what causes us to uh, despair? Uh, and there's a couple of things, but I want us to take a little different view on it. Now, here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, His yoke was easy and His burden is light. Take my yoke upon you, for it's, it's easy and my burden's light. God's commands aren't burdensome. Now, when we talk about evil speech, a lot of people say, oh, it's just so hard, it's, oh, it's so bad, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Well, that in itself is evil speech, I guess, complaining. But yet, God's commands aren't hard. The hardness of His commands, the quote-unquote hardness of His commands, shows just how uh, selfish we are. It's how far we are. When we look at God's commands being so hard, and 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 just just hard to deal with, what we're saying here, this is how selfish we are. <laughs> what we're saying is, this is how selfish we are. That's what makes it hard. To obey. The illusion of burdens, uh, 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 the burdensness and the, com the commands of the burdens makes things look desperate. Okay? So when we see something from the Lord as is, is, is being hard, we become desperate. You know, and it creates despair in us. And then the next thing you know, we complain. Let me give you an example. You got to forgive somebody. I don't want to forgive. You don't understand what they've done. It's just too hard. What, 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 what are you doing? You're, you're speaking evil. You don't know what they've done to me. You don't understand. But the Bible says you have to forgive. But it's too hard. It's, you know, the commandments of the Lord are just too hard. Now you're in despair. Now you want to complain even more. Uh give to charity or whatever the case may be. Well, you don't understand. I, I need this money and it's just too hard. You know, you start <laughs> it's just It just snowballs. Um, but see, this is the thing. This is what wickedness does to us. It makes us very selfish. To the point we cause our own despair. It's not the commandments of God being hard that cause the despair. It's our own selfishness. It and when we and, and, and if it is, if the commandments of God and the things that we are to do seem very hard to us, it's because all that's doing is revealing the selfishness in us. Just how selfish we are. Um, the ability to live and obey is in us by faith through grace. Even a person that's not saved can behave themselves pretty good. They can be good moral people. But it's knowing Christ is, is what gives us relationship with the Father, the Creator. So, don't live in despair because you think the commandments of God are too hard. The Bible says He won't give us any more than we can bear. But it does what, what, what that statement does do, it does reveal how selfish we are and what we really want in life. 
Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Don't, 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 don't look at the commandments of God being burdensome. Don't look at Shimrash Halashan speaking good things. Don't look at it as being a burdensome thing. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to do the right thing. And as Jesus said, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So take that with you today. It's light. You can do this. It's easy. You can do it. Okay? I didn't, well, easy, maybe not easy, but you can do it. Okay? <laughs> the hard part is getting over our own selfishness. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you the next time on The Essence of Man, The Power of Speech. Have a good one.